today our class is on crystal defects at a absolute zero temperature that means zero kelvin all the crystals or solids are in the perfect state that means in a perfect geometry but as the temperature increases some dislocations or defects arises so here we will discuss the various types of crystal defects there are two types of crystal defects in solids point defects and line defects what are point defects irregularities or deviations from ideal arrangement around a point or an atom in a crystalline substance what is point defect point defects are the irregularities or deviations from ideal arrangement around a point or an atom around a point we are expecting a particular pattern of arrangement if it is destroyed we can consider it as a point defect and what is line defect line defects are irregularities or deviations from ideal arrangement in entire rows of lattice points we have to consider a row if the entire row is defective we can consider it as a line defect but here according to your syllabus we have to consider only the point defects and not all the aspects of point defects only a, a very small topic related to point defect the point defects are classified into three sociometric defects impurity defects and non sociometric defect what is sociometric defect here the stoichiometry of the compound is maintained for example what is the stoichiometry of sodium chloride 1 is to 1 what is the stoichiometry of calcium chloride 1 is to 2 even in defective crystals this stoichiometry is maintained impurity defect if a foreign particle is present in the crystal that defect is known as impurity defect non stoichiometric defect here the stoichiometry of the crystal may be affected it is again classified as shown here stoichiometric defects are classified into four schottky defect frankel defect vacancy defect interstitial defect non stoichiometric defects are classified into two metal excess defect metal deficiency defect we can analyze it one by one in stoichiometric defects the first one is vacancy defect when some of the lattice sites are vacant vacancy defects arises for example if in if we consider a particular solid for example ice if one of the lattice point of ice is unoccupied that means there is no molecule of h2o we can consider it as a defective crystal and that defect is a vacancy defect vacancy of a molecule or vacancy of an atom or vacancy of a metal ion that is a vacancy defect now interstitial defect if a particle that means atom molecule or ion if it is moving from its lattice site to interstitial site moving from the expected lattice site to the interstitial site then the defect is known as interstitial defect next point is very important vacancy and interstitial defect shown by non ionic solids vacancy and interstitial defects are shown by non ionic solids then what are the defects associated with ionic solids they are schottky defects and frankel defects what is schottky defect this figure represent schottky defect only a symbolic representation here you see negative positive negative it will be positive 
here positive and positive so in between negative a cation is missing from the lattice site and anion is missing from the lattice site. again if you examine we can find here an anion is missing again here a cation is missing two cations are missing two anions are missing means equal number of anion and cations are missing from the lattice site here it is frangel defect what is what you can see here a positive ion is missing from the lattice site but here that positive ion is present in the interstitial site so positive ion is present in the interstitial site it is moving from its original lattice site and it is present in the interstitial site it is frangel defect we can compare short key and frangel defect in short key defect missing of equal number of cations and anions due to the missing of particles from the lattice site its density decreases there is decrease in density this type of defect is found in highly ionic compounds with a high coordination number example sodium chloride cesium chloride sodium chloride what is the coordination number 6 is to 6 coordination cesium chloride what is the coordination number 8 is Okay, sodium chloride 6 is to 6 coordination, cesium chloride 8 is to 8 coordination. We discussed it in, in the last class. Now in frangel defect, it is due to the missing of ions, usually cation from the lattice sites, and they occupy interstitial sites. Shifting of cations, usually cations, from lattice site to interstitial site. It has no effect on density what is the reason no loss no change in mass no long loss of particle and no change in mass this type of defect is found in crystals where the difference in the size of cation and anion is very large example silver chloride silver bromine zinc sulfide here in zinc sulfide coordination is 4 is to 4 so here sodium chloride 6 is to 6 Cesium chloride eight is to eight high coordination, so short key defect. Zinc chloride four is to four low coordination number, so frangel defect. Short key defect observed in crystals of high coordination number, but frangel defect in crystals of low coordination number. In the two cases, you can see the example AgBr. AgBr shows both short key and frangel defect. Impurity defect. Impurity, you know, if a foreign particle is present in the lattice, crystal lattice of another compound, we can consider it as. Here, is, here it is explained with an example. Sodium chloride crystal. In molten sodium chloride, if you mix a strontium chloride, some of the Na plus will be replaced by SR2 plus, strontium ion. But in case of sodium, one positive charge in case of strontium, two positive charge. So one SR2 plus can replace two Na plus to maintain neutrality. Due to the presence of impurity, SR2 plus cation vacancies are created. Two sodium ions are replaced, but only one SR2 plus is present. So one cation site will be vacant. Another such example, CdCl2 and AgCl. If CdCl2 and AgCl mixed, uh, impurity defects will arise. Now, non stoichiometric defects. There are two types of non stoichiometric defects, metal excess defect and uh, metal deficiency defect. Metal excess defect is classified into two. The first one is metal excess defect due to anion vacancy. In a crystal, suppose there is vacancy of an anion, then surely the metal ions will be excess. The electrical neutrality is maintained by the presence of an electron in the anion vacancy. An anion is missing from the lattice site and there an electron is present. So there is no change in the charge of the crystal. Or we can say electrical neutrality is maintained, but actually there is loss of one anion 
Therefore, when you compare the total number of anions and cations, cations will be excess. Cations are considered as metal ions, positive ions. And the point where electrons are present are known as epicenter. The reason it gives a characteristic color to the crystal. We can make it clear by taking an example of sodium chloride. When sodium chloride crystal is heated in sodium vapor, when sodium chloride crystal is heated in sodium vapor, Cl minus ions from crystal lattice migrate to the surface. There it combines with the sodium. Cl minus alone migrate from the lattice point to the surface of the crystal and there it uh, combines with the metallic sodium according to the equation given below. See the equation Na plus plus Cl minus gives NaCl plus electron. Then in the surface an electron is free. That will enter into that electron uh, enters into the crystal lattice and occupy the anion vacancy and it will form an epicenter. Then the sodium chloride crystal will change it to yellow color. Another example, lithium in excess of LiCl makes it pink and excess of potassium in potassium chloride makes it violet. You have to note and study these examples. Here it is a pictorial representation of epicenter only Symbolic representation, not a correct representation here. Positive, negative, positive. Actually, we are expecting a negative ion here that is missing. Instead of that ion, what is present? Electron. It is absent. So what is the reason for the yellow color of sodium chloride? Simply you can say absent or metal excess defect due to anion vacancy. Absent is the correct answer. Now, metal excess defect due to interstitial cation. The cations, uh, all the cations are present in the lattice side, but you can see an extra cation in the interstitial side. And the total number of cations will be more than that is expected. So the stoichiometry of the compound will be destroyed. It also explained here with an example of zinc oxide. In zinc oxide, Zn2 plus and O2 minus. For one Zn2 plus, there will be one O2 minus. When we heat such a crystal of zinc oxide, what happens? This reaction will take place. That means zinc oxide decomposes and produce Zn2 plus oxygen and electron. Zn2 plus plus half O2 plus two electron. This oxygen, you can see, it is molecular oxygen. It is not uh, uh, remaining in the crystal lattice, it will escape or evolve from the crystal. So O2, that will move out of the crystal. Then what is in remaining? It's done 2 plus and 2 electrons. Then it's done 2 plus has no place in the crystal lattice. So it will enter into the interstitial site. Interstitial site. Then the electrical neutrality that is not uh, maintained in order to maintain the electrical neutrality, these electrons also will enter into the interstitial site. So electrical neutrality also will be maintained. That is metal excess defect due to interstitial cation. Now metal deficiency defect. It arises only if the positive ion has variable oxidation state or variable valency. An example, Mole molecular formula of ferrous oxide. That is not FeO. The exact formula is Fe 0 0.930. If the stoichiometry is correct, one is to one con uh, stoichiometry, then only we can write it as FeO. But here you can see Fe 0 0.930. What is the reason? In crystals of FeO, some Fe 2 plus cations are missing and the loss of positive charge is made up by the presence of required number of Fe 3 plus ions. For example, if two Fe 3 plus ions are present in the crystal lattice, total charge is 3 into 2 Six, six positive charge. 
this sixth positive charge is uh, originating from 3 fe2 plus isn't it 3 fe2 plus 2 fe through fe3 plus contribute six positive charge but 3 fe2 plus contribute six positive charge that means 2 fe3 plus will displace or 2 fe3 plus can replace 3 fe2 plus means there will be a vacancy of cation anions will be the same number but there will be a vacancy of cation so here this defect is a metal deficiency defect you have to remember it arises only if the cation has variable oxidation state for us oxide is an example its actual formula is fe 0.93o it is not 1 is to 1 less than 1 fe is less than 1 0.93 is it clear so these are the important defects and uh, the remaining part of the chapter we can see in another video